Steve, we are pressing the Highway Patrol tonight for a bit more information, but from talking to eyewitnesses, including that Eyewitness News colleague who was on his way home, it is amazing that no one was more seriously hurt out here. Tense moments tonight on a Durham road during rush hour. He eventually drug the suspect out of the vehicle himself. Christian Todd was rolling on the entire thing on Holloway Street, right where it intersects with 885. Christian was on his way home to Raleigh when a car came barreling head on into another car just a few feet away from him. I didn't realize he was actually chasing a suspect at first until I saw the suspect run head on into several vehicles. Christian is a producer for ABC 11. He said he only caught the last few seconds of the chase, but saw the car troopers were chasing hit three other cars, and the suspect panicked about his next move after troopers got him out. Frantic, kind of considering what his next move was, as the cop comes out of the car, uh, the state trooper, as the state troopers yelling at him, get out, get out of the vehicle. Highway Patrol said they were involved in the pursuit of an impaired driver in this area. The suspect in that white car started heading the wrong direction on Holloway Street and immediately hit a car head on. Investigators say several cars got hit, but everyone was able to walk away from the scene. I didn't even register at first. I'm just sitting there looking at this cop, uh, this trooper, you know, going full speed, and I didn't even see he was chasing anybody because I was focused on his lights. Christian tonight grateful the outcome wasn't worse. I was two vehicles away. I could have been the one hit. Just wondering why, why, uh, why do chases happen? Why such a high speed chase can happen in such a densely trafficked area? We have also asked the Highway Patrol who they were chasing, where this chase started. Any more detail here? The Highway Patrol does tell us that their officers, none of them were hurt. The cruisers were not impacted in any way. And as you heard a little bit earlier, Steve, none of the folks out here seem to have suffered any serious injuries. We'll continue, of course, to press the Highway Patrol for more as this investigation continues. I'll send it back to you. Yeah.